Happy Saturday, good day, and good evening. If you're listening in the evening, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another Live the Fuel show. So that's right, we're recording on the weekend because that's just what I do. I just finished working out. Uh, I got to relieve a lot of stress in the in this whole garage project, in my little CrossFit space, my little functional fitness space. But uh, we're going to follow through with this theme of functional fitness and maybe get into more healthy discussions now today because I've got, yes, that's right, another new guest co-host for you. And this one's going to be far targeting heavily our health and lifestyle components of our trifecta uh, where we fuel your health, business, and lifestyle. And I remind people day in and day out that if you don't put your health and your lifestyle first, your business will fail. Sorry, it's been proven time and time again. <laughs> so uh, anyway, let me give you a quick background on this gentleman joining us today. First of all, I've got to give a shout out to a fellow Pennsylvanian. I don't get to always get the podcast with a gentleman uh, or a lady right here in my own state, so I'm excited. So this guy's got a BS degree in pharmacy uh, from West Virginia University. Uh, he, he's been in university hospital pharmacy experiences, Duke University. Duke has been around for a long time. Duke is a very powerful name uh, in the university space, the health space. Uh, I go over to New Jersey. Duke owns a lot of property out there. Uh, there's a lot of amazing natural uh, farms that they've restored. Uh, but anyway, this gentleman might know a little bit about naturopathic medicine. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to get into the healthy, natural. Some people like to joke around crunchy. But actually, let me give you a little tip. We're going to get into some DNA health, maybe some telomeres, maybe some anti-aging. You might learn a few things today about maybe aging a little more gracefully and maybe restoring some of that health. So without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, Dr. Misak of Vital Biology, I got to say that five times fast. Welcome, sir. Hey, thanks for having me. I'm looking forward to it, Scott. So uh, anyway, isn't it great to actually be in the same time zone for once? <laughs> yeah, I'll tell you, yeah, that's, that is true. I, you know, this meeting's at two hours behind or whatever. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm well, working you, with people all over. You work with our crew. Uh, uh, I'll give a shout out to the Command Your Brand team. I love those guys. We, we met at a conference uh, together and I already have multiple, I call them podcast agencies, like sending me people to consider. And now I just have my VA review them because I gave them all my protocols, what I look for before they get to my final vision. But then I just tell the Command Your Brand guys, I'm like, yeah, I trust you, just send them. <laughs> so Great to, great to meet you. Uh, I love the, the signage in the background for people watching this live and people who watch this on YouTube when it airs is he's got some fun little art behind him. Feel the difference. And so I just want to jump into this right away. I joked around before you and I hit recording that I haven't been to an MD in a while. And I, I, I will clarify. <laughs> <laughs> I will clarify. Last year, I did create a little injury which led to a collapsed lung, and I did have to get hospitalized and get some surgery because uh, the micro tear in the lung would not heal, and they kept trying to get to heal, and it wouldn't heal through vacuum pumps or something. I don't know. You probably have heard about all that stuff. Right. And I said, all right. So, so technically, there is a time and a place for you know, medical doctors and this, you know, what we call our modern medicine practices, right? Surgery, stuff like that. My wife, she's a veterinary doctor. She's a chiropractic doctor for animals. So she's got the medical and the naturopathic side of things as well. Yeah, if you have a rod protruding through your shoulder, don't do homeopathic. Really? You sure? <laughs> okay. Well, All right. I, can wind up with the I can't just yank bit. that out and it's just going to be good. I'll just give you a call. I'll get on the video call. Like, hey, doc, what do you think about this? Just... <laughs> So why don't you help? Uh, I've had a, numerous people from naturopathic side, and there's all these different buzzwords that, I, which they're they're all different. I think I want to pause on that, right? Some people don't understand the difference between these different forms of, and again, I don't want to umbrella it, but Eastern medicine, right? Uh, forms of medicine that have been around longer than our modern medical pharmaceutical. I like to call it the pharmaceutical band aid, uh, where we we treat with a drug, and we're not actually solving for what the root cause was. So why don't we explain that real quick? Because obviously you've been in the medical side of things, then you went to the naturopathic side of things. Why? Yeah. <laughs> Why well, the transition? Truth? How yeah. about truth? Is yeah. a good place to start. Okay. You know, I, you know, I was, you know, I saw the worst of the worst dealing with cancer and on, you know, oncology, general medicine at Duke, and then I went to. I was a person who is how do things work? I took apart things. I tinker on, you know, old cars. I, you know, I, I take things apart and. And I, my dad was a doctor, and I thought it was cool when I was a kid to see him as a doctor. But then when I got to pharmacy school, it's like, how does it work, you know? And I got down to, um, I loved anatomy, biochemistry, physiology. And then when I saw people falling apart and that there's no application of biochemistry 
in traditional medicine, like, hey, I'm watching cancer people die. Why can't we give these people IV vitamins and minerals? Oh, there's no research on that. The hell there isn't. There's a lot of research on that. Wait, hold on. Biochem? I mean, I have a nephew yeah. studying biochem. Like, I thought that was a pretty common form of at least a baseline of education as you extend into the different forms of medical field. Aren't they all studying some form of biology or chemistry? Well, they are. They are, but the application of it, you know, you learn it in theory. Hey, you know, in a catabolic state, the cancer breakdown, this person needs certain B vitamins that generate the energy. Their, their collagen's falling apart. They need higher amounts of vitamin C. Hi, the China study. I mean, we could turn around and tie all this together. And what I, but it just kept, how does it work? I went to naturopathic school. I did compounding pharmacy while I was in that, you know, working with hormones and all those type of things. And, um, and then I get into practice and you learn the nature cure and the philosophy of natural medicine. Um, but when you, when you apply it in that, even in naturopathic schools, they're treating a diagnosis of a disease and how you can approach it from a natural perspective. You know, although, hey, let's avoid this. Hey, you might have heavy metal toxicities. You might have environmental toxicities. Hey, your cheese not moving. Let's do some acupuncture, whatever it may be. Right. Um, but even to that, there were limitations. I still didn't see the people getting cured of things. You know, I saw that I could improve quality of life, but those destructive cancers, autoimmune conditions, why? And so right. I kept looking and then I learned bioelectric chemistry and I, and I'm, and it's, it's the work of Dr. Kerry Reams. He was a mathematical genius. Let me explain the human body in terms of frequency and vibration, how you can measure things within your own body, your urine and saliva and values, sugars, potential energy, pH, speed and friction of energy, conductivity, salt levels, thickness of body fluids, and the ability of energy to conduct from point A to point B, cell wow. degrees, how's my body turning over and detoxifying well, yeah. and nitrates, protein building, protein breakdown. So you're looking at efficiency of what the body's doing with food to generate energy. And it blew my mind. Like, okay, we're looking at energy concepts and what organs are stressed. Mm -hmm. And then I just kept taking that to the next level. And I've been doing that and will be doing that for the rest of my life. Keep moving forward with it. I started geeking out about it. It's now 10 years ago because I've talked about it before. The founding of this Live the Fuel brand was because I came from farm kid to, you know, chasing corporate dreams to giving them all up. And then in my 30s, spending a couple of years fighting wildfires out west with the federal government. So I got to be a wildland firefighter. Oh. And doing 16 hour shifts on a fire line, hiking in the mountains with 40, 50 pounds of gear and a 25 pound chainsaw on your shoulder for two weeks straight. Uh, I didn't. Up until that point, like I'd run marathons, that's math. Mar I didn't understand what chronic stress and <laughs> this buildup of toxicity. So by the end of my first rookie year, and this is 10 years ago, 2010, uh, I was beat to snot. I mean, just, I, I, I had a trip planned to Ireland. I was like, I'm gonna go backpack Ireland. And I was tired. <laughs> and I was like, what happened? And granted, in six months of a summer from April to September, we did anywhere from 1,800 to 2,000 hours. That's a lot. So can you imagine the the stress and the impacts on, and I was healthy. We were, I mean, you well, know, if, you, if you're serving about, as a firefighter, you're pretty, pretty good shape. But right. Let me talk about stress. So right. if you take naturopathic philosophy, you break it down to the concepts of a total load theory. You yeah. get a threshold. And when you exceed that threshold, your body says, I can't do this. I can only do this. So what constitutes that stress? Spiritual mental, emotional, physical, environmental, you know, um, microbial. I mean, if you look at the pleomorphic theory of, of bugs, for every cell in your body, with every trillion there are, there's 10 microbes in you to account for oh, that. Yeah. Yeah. And so, so there's a whole energetic biome. So basically, you are exceeding, you are consuming more energy than you're generating from your food. You've exceeded your threshold. So what do you, how do you, what do, you do about this threshold? Right. You got to get rid of the load pure air, pure food, pure water, electromagnetic field protection, you know, Wi-Fi, yeah. 5G, what's that doing? I, I'm a big fan. Uh, I brought up to you before the show, uh, Dr. Chad Cruz was on this show back, way back on episode 51. And he's Mr. Mitochondrial, Mitohacker. And he's the first guy who ever taught me about, to this day, I, I, I took my route, my internet routers, I put them in their own power strip. And every night before I go to bed, I turn them off. 
Oh, God, yeah. Right? I mean, that's a huge step. You can't stop the cell phone tower stuff coming in. There's things like EMF curtains well, and everything else. You know, I, you know, there's cool tech nowadays for this. Well, but you stuff. can't get away from toxins. The environmental Working Group, EWG.org, the, you know, the Clean 15 or, or the Dirty Dozen, the Clean yep, 15 yep. foods. They did a study years ago on placental blood that babies, right when they're born, had over 200 chemicals on average in their blood. So you, you're breathing it in. You're, what are you putting on your skin? What type of products? you got those phthalates and dioxins and the plastics. And you cannot get away from toxins. Well, but well, you especially can, more nowadays. You can live a lifestyle to reduce the load. Yeah. I mean, so, actually, you were talking about, like, fresh, clean air and stuff. Now, granted, if we were on a fire, the wildfire air wasn't that clean. But in general, our lifestyle was camping under the stars every single night. Uh, you know, you're in fresh mountain air, sometimes at seven to 8,000 feet. So like uh, Dr. Cruz told me, he's like, that's probably one of the reasons why you guys didn't die doing what you do is because you were in, you were in mother nature and you're at higher altitudes and he's a big advocate for healthy sun and healthy oh, UV. He's have you like, heard so, about foresting? Yeah. yeah so you know, just, there's a, the Japanese teach a concept of foresting that people who just get out into a forest and experience the atmosphere, lower blood pressure, lowered stress. I mean, and also the energy you're connecting. talking about. It's connecting. It's connecting with yeah. the, the energy of grounding yourself. Yeah. I, I now do. So, so grounding, earthing, I do that. I try and do that almost totally. every day. Yep. So, yeah. so, then, so then I expand, expand the concept of philosophy. So phase one, clean up your environment. Phase two, what are your stressors? Let me test you for food chemical sensitivities. Let me look for parasitic and viral involvements. Let's mm -hmm. look for the burdens uh, do you have te you know teeth filled with silver amalgams and you have potential heavy metals? Do you do you swim in pesticide vats? You know I don't know what you do. Well, but, uh, if you, know, you live near a farm and exactly. a lot of farms nowadays spray the fields, that's in the air that could pass oh, totally. into your environment. Yeah. Right. So so we test you for what you're reactive to. Then phase three support, but not support as hey you've got a thyroid disorder, so let's take phenylalanine, tyrosine, and superoxide dismutase converters. You know, uh, or or do you, you know, it, I'm not looking at organ systems. I need adrenal support or thyroid support. I'm looking chemically, what does your body need? And when I break it down, when you go back to ashes, it's minerals. It's 60% calcium, 24% phosphorus, 12% potassium, 85 trace minerals make up your salt of what you are. That when you go back to the earth, that's what you're giving back to the earth. Yeah. You know, so so those minerals of what you're getting that's supposed to be in food where we are totally living in a demineralized nation and oh, yeah. food that's void of nutrients. So you start repleting these things and you start rebuilding your energy by giving the body the support. So you're raising your threshold. Now I can handle more of a load. But at the same time, by lowering the load by pure air, pure food, pure water, avoiding what you're reactive to or your stress or supporting your body, you are, you are naturally going to start detoxifying because you're now below what your threshold is. So now I can generate energy. Yeah. And you're, so, so then you start restorative with the restorative health. You're remineralizing the body. You're building reserve energy. And that's phase four is that detoxification. You're supporting your body. And then we can use therapies to speed it up. Infrared sauna, ionic foot baths, colon hydrotherapy, hyperbaric therapy, all these things that enhance cellular function because chemically speaking on the energy of what we are has improved to a threshold. But now I've got more energy. You're, you're in essence regulating the vital force of the body to restore. Phase five, self-awareness. You know, because now I have, an, you know, I'm becoming aware, I'm cleaning my body out, I'm meditating, I'm finding myself, what do I want to do? I can Let's pause on that. Self-awareness right. is a term that a lot of great influencers do throw around, and they do back it up like you're doing right now. But I think a lot of people don't think how powerful that is. So it's interesting that that's step five in, in your well, breakdown. No, so it's not, a, it's not a step five okay. per se. They, they can, they're interchangeable. You know, oh, okay. it's, it's not like a, you got to do this, 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 because you can jump in anywhere, but you can under, I want you to understand a process. Okay. Okay. So it's not like, I just teach it as five phases of health. You can start phase five with self-awareness and people should right up front if you're really looking at it, because that's key. You know, where am I in life? Who am I in life? What do I believe in life? Milton Erickson, father of hypnosis, he got himself out of a chair with polio by knowing that he could, 
that mind power is above People all. underestimate that. The, the, oh whole, God, the classic yeah. saying of uh, mind over matter. And, and it's true. Like I, I joked around this last night in the podcast I was recording. I was saying how I still remember to this day when a friend of mine probably go uh, five, six years ago, had me watch that movie. And then I've read, then I've read the book probably 10 times since. Uh, Law of Attraction. And it was hokey to me. I yeah. was like, what? I, mean, I tell you all the time, like, you can't knock something until you try it. So watch the movie, read the book, uh, and then you'll probably agree with me when you first do it. Depending on where you're at with your mindset, it's hokey, it's weird. Uh, they made the movie a little little wacky. But when you read the book or listen to the book on audio, which I do over and over, I, I made it a requirement. I put it in my calendar once a quarter. I make myself go back on audio, audible, and listen to it again just to see if something – in my life this year is triggering or connecting differently because they do have experts on there regarding uh, quantum yeah. uh, research and all this knowledge. And you're a big energy guy. So that's a huge alignment of this information. And people don't think about that. It's like, dude, we're walking power plants. I mean, there's, I don't even know, exactly. what's, what's the voltage running through us right now? I don't even right. know. <laughs> point zero, point zero, 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 two five is your frequency as a male. Okay. You have, so, a, you have a specific frequency. What is your, so let's, let's have fun with that one then, because I've done the research into earthing and grounding, so I'm a big fan. And I said a lot of us all have our frequencies are out of alignment with our earth, because this earth is one big ball of magnetism and energy and power. And when you earth and you ground, I will say, when I started doing it, within three weeks, I personally, me, I noticed it. Like when I woke up in the morning, made my coffee, and walked out and just stood there in the grass barefoot whether it was raining or not i felt it it was different i mean it's that not goes back to the 1400s even natural medicine people talking about grounding and walking and barefoot hydrotherapy okay. in the 1800s and grounding but when you're talking the aspect of energy you know i i mentioned your sugars dictate potential or available energy and the health of oxygenation of carrying the blood ph dictates the frequency that you're on mm. so if it pH of 6.4 is ideal for biological optimization, whereas other people teach that you need to be pH of 7, but then there's too much resistance. Okay. At, a pH of, at a pH of 6.4, you have where it, the environment, and you, it, even a classic example inside your body, what are you? Mostly water being held together, right? 80%? If you're hydrating properly. <laughs> okay, if you're hydrating properly. Well, water is composed of hydrogen and oxygen. Both are considered energetic isotopes that where they, based upon the environment, can spin counterclockwise, anionically, clockwise, cationically, cations ground you, anionics disperse. It's, a, it's an electromagnetic aspect of where we are in this world. And so your pH dictates where your frequency is and your nitrates are, you know, nitrogen bombs are powerful, right? Oh, yeah. Nitrates dictate the degree of magnetism. And so I can tell if people have a weak magnetism, where their frequencies are, how strong they are, and explain it from an Oregon physical concept. That's what I really teach. It has nothing to do with while I'm on your show wanting to talk about telomeres well, and biometry, but it's the it all ties together of where I brought it all together. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that's why I like to get some of the backstory because, you know, somebody doesn't just go hop on a podcast and promote a product. If they do that, I tell them, because I'm a marketing guy, I tell them, like, don't do that. Like, if you're just going to go get your name out there because you want to promote a product, no. Help people understand where you came from, the backstory, like, why you're so passionate about this, right? Like, why natural anti-aging can be a science. Uh, and a oh, lot of people think, a lot of people are like, oh, natural, oh, that sounds crunchy or blah, blah, blah. Well, or, and like, well, no, it's been around longer than modern medicine. So Let's talk about it, though. Yeah. If you're talking anti-aging, 2009 Nobel Prize in Medicine, three physiologists won the Nobel Prize for Medicine for their, their discovery of telomerase, an enzyme that when high activation of that enzyme prevents the end of your DNA where telomeres are located from shortening. As they shorten, Which is the aging. You, you age. Yeah. And so what they did is they increased and stimulated telomerase activity in mice that were prematurely aged where they were blind their kidney fail, near kidney failure, their hair was gray, their brains, they couldn't think to get through mazes. And what they found is the brains actually increased 25% in size. Their vision restored, their kidneys restored, their hair went black. They were running through mazes like the age of a 35-year-old again. They literally reverse engineered 
the, the, the age of these yeah. mice. And so then they turn around, and if you go and you look at how to stimulate swan race activity, that's what I did. Around okay. 2014, I Googled research on telomerase activity, printed out about 200 abstracts off of Google, research abstracts, and just started highlighting and going through. And next thing I'm like, oh my God, they're natural substances. You yeah, know? I do some screen sharing while, you guys, while you're talking about this. Yeah, there's, so there's, two, there's two core sites for you. There's your name, docmesat.com. Doc, uh, Doc yeah. And then you got the vitalometry here, which again, it didn't connect with me right away until I saw the dash. And then I'm like, oh, duh, telemetry. Yeah, telomeres. Oh, yeah, I know about this stuff. <laughs> and you have vital at the beginning of it. Right. Sorry. I, li I like that. By the way, so good job on the branding. I like that. So, Thank you. That was all that, 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 again, that's, that's because of self-awareness and finding who I am and, and getting in those meditative states where the epiphanies just occur, you know? Yeah. So, um, so you had the epiphany back in what year was that? 2014. So, okay. All right. So, so, all right. So after the, uh, so oh nine, these guys get recognized, boom, big explosion. You've got four or five years to help start digging into it, doing some research. And then you have this epiphany in, in 14. So, cause I, I like to tell some of the backstory cause I'm a big entrepreneurial guy and I love connecting health experts to the entrepreneurial mindset. Cause some people like you are just passionate, uh, professional doctors and influencers in the health market. But I'm like, well, guys like you who go out on their own and try and figure this out, you are entrepreneurially driven. You, I tell you all the time, the definition of entrepreneurship is solving somebody's problem for money. That's it. If yeah, you but simplify I it. You know, <laughs> it's it, awesome. you know, what's really interesting is because being a naturopathic doctor, don't go into it for money. No, I, I agree. You know, yeah. In all honesty, because you, especially if you have five kids like me, you're not going to have any. You know, More power then, to you. I got none and my wife and I are like, <laughs> we're, we're good. We'll, we'll be the cool aunts and uncles. <laughs> there you go. So, but vitalometry, what happened was, is that, that compounding pharmacy background, going through these abstracts. So why, what did I, you know, and then I looked at products that were out there and the big one is called TA65. It has um, cycloestragonol and, 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 and astragalocyte 4 or astragalocyte IV in there, which are extracts of astragalus. And, but it's, if you really take the therapeutic dose that they were recommending, it's about $2,000 a month. Oh my God. Yeah. Oh, that's yeah, not realistic. Right. Yeah. Right. Exactly. The rich and famous are taking this stuff. And yeah. then you look at all the other ones and all they are is glorified antioxidants and, and, uh, and basically multivitamins. Right. And because if you look at what affects telomeres in reality, it's stress. If you had a stressful childhood and you can't process your emotions and haven't figured out who you are and how to process those emotions and you carry that stress through your life, it, it shortens your telomeres. Yeah. Meditation. You're, you're, you're blocking that energy. You're, right. you're, that, that's a, that's a, cause I, I've learned that over the years. There's so many different components of your energy flow. And we can, we have a lot of us have some, some of those being blocked and some are flowing very well and some are not. I and mean, that's part of that. Like you said, that's part of that stress equation. Right. Meditation has been shown to lengthen telomeres, meaning meditation directly affects your DNA, hmm. you know? Um, but, but certain vitamins and nutrients have been shown from an antioxidant perspective to again, enhance telomere or, or again, to keep your telomeres long. Yeah. So I started going through this list. And so astragalus is a core component of my product because of astragalus, you look at it, Chinese medicine, thousands of years, you know, in regards to liver, adrenal and uh, your immune system. I found this one here, in, right? Yeah, this is vital. Cycloestragonol. <laughs> Cycloestragonol and astragalocyte IV are found in astragalus, but I also put the core plant because I love connecting with uh, with nature and bringing high quality plants, what they have to offer, the whole energy of the plant to the picture with right. added aspects of cycloestragonol and astragalocyte IV. Interesting. I put, I put green tea in it because it has been shown to have astragalus. It's been shown to have that telomerase activity. But what's green tea have? That those elagic acids with the high, those polyphenols, massive amounts of antioxidant activity. By the way, can I give you can I give you some respect because I'm a supplement nut. Like I, yeah. I tell people all the time, my client is is a vitamin company, so I, I I geek out about it, and he's adamant adamant about how bad the supplement uh, world has gotten because there's so much white labeling, and you know from inventing your own, there's a right way and a wrong way to go about it. So the problem is if you want to do it the right way, it takes a little while, it might cost you a little bit more. But he's adamant about it. So I don't know if you ever heard of Vinny Tortorich. He's pretty successful in the, in the fitness world. Uh, but his his brain, he's all on multivitamin B12 stuff like that. But he's he owns the trademark NSNG, no sugar, no grains. So okay. he's like, my I, product. He's <laughs> like, I will not put 
sugar or grains into a product. And he was more, when he, more frustrated when he decided to start creating the vitamins uh, because so many people, like right here, you have in your fine print, excludes coatings, binders, right there, binders. He, he's the one who taught me that cellulose, which is basically sawdust, is, in, is used in a lot of vitamin manufacturing to keep the stainless steel lines from getting sticky, to get the things through. They're a binder, they're a filler. And when, they, when you make capsules and stuff like that, he's like, it's terrible because he's like, some of that cellulose is so small that it will actually pass through the cell membrane. He's like, yep. that is so dangerous. But also again, because he's no sugar, no grains guy, man, I love it. No wheat, no rye, no barley, uh, no corn. That's right, people, corn's a grain, it's not a vegetable. And no soy. Sorry, people. Soy is very inflammatory. Stop it. <laughs> Sorry, that's just my rant for you. Yeah, so well, I, thank I love you. It. Thanks yeah. for recognizing that. I mean, quality is a part of it. But, you know, I, just to to move on, you know, with the, how this all came apart, apart yeah. you know, so purslane is the next ingredient that I would list in there. And purslane is that weed that we're pulling out of our yard. But if you look at purslane, it has the highest amount Per gram of essential fatty acids, a BFA of any plant known to mankind. It's loaded with EFAs. And what do essential fatty acids do? What are our cell membranes? Look at Budwig and the cancer theory of incorporating high fats. They, they, they affect how nutrients transport in and out of the cells. Okay. So you need essential fats plus essential fats. What's your brain? Your, your brain is high amount of essential fats. Thank you. Right? Okay. Then, we we, then we I, produced a movie last year called Fat, a documentary. It's the first of its kind. Vinny also, uh, that was his big, biggest goal, his legacy. And we're, we're still crushing it. It's on Amazon Prime. You'll love that movie. So we've had a lot of huge health influencers teaching people like, guys, healthy fats are good. And think about the, the ties to a lot of psychological issues, uh, healthy brain activity. Like, oh, guys, yeah. like so crucial. So, so and, and plus, you know, we're talking about brain health. You know, those, those rats, their brain increased 25%. Let me increase the health of the brain. And then ginkgo. What does ginkgo do? Circulation. Ends the blood. Antiplatelet activity. Okay. And now, then, do you combine the ginkgo biloba or just go ginkgo? Oh, there... ginkgo biloba. Ginkgo biloba is the plant. It's okay. in there. Yeah. Okay. And so, but ginkgo also circulation primarily to the brain. But every one of these was shown to have telomerase activity. That's the beauty of this. It was in the telomerase research somewhere. Okay. Sambucus or resveratrol found in elderberry. Again, antioxidant activity. Again, immune support. So I want you to look at the eclectic nature of what I put together versus a glorified multi and antioxidant, which is 95% of what's out there for telomerase activity. Well, I mean, honestly, antioxidants, the, the terminology has grown enough now in the market and people are paying attention to it. So I'm glad you're making this point is that this is good just for social awareness and education, too, is that, yes, it's good that we're getting the message out there. People are realizing that stress, antioxidants, all this stuff is environment. Yes, but there's a lot of miseducation, as you're pointing out, and there's a lot oh, of falsely placed supplements that are just there to, to catch you with a good ad. And then just like, oh, yeah, well, that'll help you. Like, will it? Did you look right. at the ingredients? Did, did you get this? How many people don't read the ingredients on anything they buy? It drives me crazy. <laughs> well, you could turn around and find nutrient ingredient ingredients on, uh, you know, on niacin and, and B6 and folic acid and, and vitamin D, all these affecting tel telomeres, you know. I'm not going to decline or deny that there is research that oh, sure. supports a, a basic multivitamin um, and with antioxidants, it isn't going to help. But if you want to take it back to what I really teach is how to test your chemistry, how to know what foods to eat based upon your chemistry, how to get the nutrients in your DNA. That's what I was geeking out about, too. You know, I, like that, that. It, I bring it all together. But this product, so, you know, uh, came together because of the eclectic nature of what all these telomerase based products do and bringing in that chemistry perspective. So I add milk thistle. Why? What's the most stressed organ of the body to handle the crap load? I, I have uh, products that I take with milk thistle in. So right, right, right there you go. There's milk thistle. So, so milk thistle turns around and what does it do? It, you know, supports the liver again, but having specific telomerase activity. The most unique uh, thing in there is that next one you go down is the uh, cyanomorium. cyanomorium. I've never seen that before. Yeah. What, what does it look like? I don't want to admit to that, but it's a <laughs> sexual yang tonic. Okay. You know, so it's it's in Chinese medicine for a thousand years as a sexual potency yang tonic. So it, it increases vitality, um, and but without giving you that that 
caffeine kind of like nervousness to where you right, can't right. sleep. And so, um, but it's also been shown to have telomerase activity and it's just an incredible strengthening product. Um, and all, it, it just in helping um, uh, uh, that energy component. Does this relate anywhere along the lines? Again, only because it's on top of my brain because of last night's podcast I recorded. We were talking heavily about nitric oxide to help with things like you know lowering blood pressure, uh, that, you know vasodilation, all that type of stuff. Is there any yeah. crossovers into that world at all? I haven't seen that, but I have seen cyanomorium directly enhance uh, testosterone levels in guys and to have positive effects for fertility with women. Um, who are having fertility issues with cyanomorium has been shown to balance out those hormones on women as well. Well, you know what? Supplements aside, because obviously this supplement's helping with that, that ingredient. But hands down, I've had other health experts. We talked about people who have struggled to get pregnant, struggled to reproduce, create five kids that you, you have done. I get more power to you. Uh, but uh, they talk so much about the impacts of stress on that. How do you expect to bring forth an amazing human being like create human life in a stressful environment if you're stressed about getting pregnant i don't it doesn't sound like it's gonna work i don't know and again again i don't have kids but just throwing that out there and i've had other people talk about this over and over well, and they talk about stress it's so bad if you put a bee in a non-stressful environment it'll die we need stress you okay. know it's just part of who we are it's part of life there's a balance on that yin and yang you know the yang is gone yeah. You know, and the yin is like, oh, let's chill, dude. I'm you know? very yang. I, 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 I'm always working on my yin. <laughs> yeah, I, I, mean, I rode my motorcycle in today. I mean, I am too on the most part. So. I'll be going mountain biking and paddle boarding tomorrow. I was out throwing weights around the gym this morning. So, yeah. Because I, I tell people, I actually I realize if I don't work out enough and get that yang, my, my stress levels are too high. I, I actually realize I have to release that to, to get to that yeah. yin state. You have to ground it out. Right. Yeah. So the last two components that I haven't mentioned, you know, are so not is lemon. Is lemon, yeah. okay, and a, a mencol, which is calcium phosphate. Why? Because if you understand bioelectric concepts that I teach, all food is cationic, meaning it's clumping. There's a classic commercial: Dawn takes grease out of your way. One drop of Dawn, that grease goes woo. Right. Right. And so lemon has been used historically for you know you'll hear it about the master cleanse, and you'll see things about mixing lemon and for your first morning drink in the in the morning. Why? Electrochemically, lemon is the only natural food source that's 100% anionic, meaning that. Dawn, a, a deter, detergent, or is an anionic surfactant that takes grease and goes and boom, disperses it. Lemon disperses in the body. But historically, you know, vitamin C, bioflavonoids, which are anti-inflammatory and antioxidant. Again, I'm using it for the electrical component of dispersion. And then I use calcium phosphate. And why? Because electrochemically, we'll measure EEG patterns or EMG patterns for the muscles or EKG patterns for the heart. And we'll explain all the electricity in the body and how calcium channels are what regulate that. So we use calcium channel blockers in, in medicine, but sodium and potassium uh, channels are what regulate and start the impulse of energy. Right. I'm explaining that chemistry but calcium is the regulator of all minerals on how it's accepted or utilized in and out of the cell. They Makes don't sense. teach you that in medicine, but in chemistry, that's what's happening. Calcium is the regulator. Mm -hmm. And so if your pH is imbalanced, your calcium levels are imbalanced. Okay. And so calcium phosphate, which I told you, if your body composition, 60% calcium, 24% phosphorus, 12% potassium. Potassium is mostly contained in the brain, mm -hmm. right? And, and that purslane is a good source of potassium, by the way, you know, but you turn around and you're giving the body chemically what it needs while dispersing it and using an eclectic blend of herbs that, that are formulating, supporting these organ systems to process it. Like as you're talking, I'm literally picturing like synaptic pathways sparking brighter and better, right? Because there's, you're improving that. So I, I studied microelectronics technology back in high school before I even uh, yeah. went for engineering. So we studied a lot about electrical currents. And that's why I tell people like, okay, it's not just voltage, right? There's wattage, there's current, there's hertz. And, and then uh, like- Which I, is frequency. Right. Like you talked about earlier how you like to tear apart yeah. cars, right? So I, I, did, I have a giant old garage behind my house. I've been gutting for five years. 
man zoning it, turning it into nice storage for antique cars because it's where my wife's family's construction company was founded a long time ago. Well, I taught myself how to do commercial wiring. And going back to something as simple as, well, the more copper in the wire, you know, the heavier the gauge, the better the current will flow. I mean, so it's just, yeah. I mean, granted, we're not talking about a human body right now, but there's a lot of that. So, but also I have to make sure that I'm not over utilizing that current run, right? If I, if I, if I install a radiant heater, it's going to pull a lot of power. So am I, am I giving it the right pathway for that energy or am I overloading it? Cause I learned that last year I did and the cable was heating up. It wasn't strong enough. It wasn't able to handle the amount of current uh, that that heater was needing. That's so, what I taught today on my YouTube show was conductivity and ah, how and how energy is moving through the body. And at that conductivity level of six and a half, you have the perfect amount where you're not getting too less, where your energy can't get where it needs to be, which leads to co discoordination and stuff like that. But if you have too much, it's it's you you irritate nerves and smooth muscle, nervousness, anxiety. The worst for people is sea salt, but yet you're hearing everybody say eat sea salt and Himalayan salt. But that dries up conductivity, causes that static electricity. And where you're saying you're overloading currents, that causes breakdown. Oh, I cough and sneeze. I lose urine. I right. develop diverticulitis. I have nervousness. I get numbness and tingling. That's high conductivity in people. Exactly what you're talking about. But I'm teaching it from a food source. Cut out the sea salt. Yeah. Most people see, say, take salt for the adrenals. Yeah, because sodium There's stimulates a cortisol activity. It's a balance. Yeah. It's right. like I, I have a salt supplement that my client made, but I only use that on extremely hot fitness days where I'm, I'm purging that sweat. You know, you I'm sweating that salt more. out. I'm backloading it. But it's also a blend of magnesium and salt because magnesium is an essential uh, supplement component for those power plants within your cells before the mitochondria. So and enzyme activity. Yep. There you go. Um, but oh, yeah. dude, I, I get it. I, I, I told teach, you we're going to geek out. So I could teach <laughs> functional medicine if we wanted to. And, but what I've done is I've moved it all to an energy component. I'm trying to explain the connection between food and energy and how you can measure it at home by monitoring your saliva and urine. But then in the background, I've created a product like Vitalometry, which I'm hearing. I, you know, I tell people if they want to know, I can't make claims. You know, but most people are, I say, feel the difference. Um, I've had people, if you go to that doc, Misak, you'll see uh, a third party endorsement with Kathy Ireland. And I have a, cl a client on there says, hey, the first day I felt difference. If you go to, um, uh, if you go to Amazon, just read the reviews. That's all I tell people. I, those are not my claims. I won't make claims. Just well, one thing I like is that you are, you know, I tell people all the time, you know what? a good product site or just in general, like you, you've, you've taken the time to make sure, hey, I got my research links here, okay? I'm not just pulling stuff out of my butt. If you wanna look at what we've looked at, we're documenting everything here. I like this page because I like to see companies be transparent uh, and, and help people. Hey, if you, if you wanna geek out, there you go. Go dig into all the stuff we've dug into. This is all public information. So, but a lot of people maybe don't need to, but it's like, you know, at least provide it. Make sure it's there. There you go. And if, you, if that's enough for you and you just want to go ahead and buy it and try it, then do that too. <laughs> and buy it and try it. So, I, you know, I want to appreciate, I appreciate being on the show. Yeah. And so with that, you know, what I want to do is anybody who watches this show, if they use the discount code FUEL, F-U-E-L, okay. they get 10% off. I like that. Okay. They'll Thank get 10% off from trying the product that. and they'll appreciate it. Uh, we have a trial size body bottle uh, of, 20, of 30 capsules or most people buy the 120 capsules simply because um, at a minimum most people I suggest taking four a day when I formulated the product I was gonna I ask you about that I was looking yeah. at this page like why why the one to four per day and are you cycling that throughout the day or are you loading like what's you know you can do four all at one time in reality I made the products so you can take 12 a day and I have and if you take 12 a day you'll be like go 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 it's total <laughs> yang you know nonstop. I have already, a lot I've of already people, go, go, go. <laughs> on average, I have people, I have, a, I have a few people who comment on my YouTube show that they're taking eight a day and they've never been able to be as productive in their life as what they are. Wow. I just love it. But you're looking at it. I look at it from a cost standpoint, you know, at $90 a month supply. If you, if you people who buy in and get the auto ship, it brings it down to 80 a month. People who want to try it, get that 10% off. You're getting it for about 80 bucks, which is less than people going and buying that Starbucks every day. Oh, yeah. I, I, yeah. If, I mean, when this go, quarantine is over, I'm like, 
a lot more people are going to go go back and sit in the Starbucks again and stuff like that. And I do from time to time. I, I go do meetings at Starbucks and I've done live podcasts from Starbucks, but I have too. Right? right? It's like I'll sit, I bring the portable mics. Let's rock and roll. Actually, I miss that. You know, I do miss that. But the point is that you know you're, you're in the moment. But people underestimate like that retail shopping experience is expensive. So, but I mean, if you're willing to do that, I always tell people like, and it doesn't matter if it's your product or a multivitamin or whatever. I'm like, guys, like if you're going to invest money, invest in yourself like first and then invest in your portfolio and all that stuff too. But uh, that's why I'm such an advocate for proper nutrition. But I, uh, to your point earlier in the show, remind people, you, you kind of flew through it, but it's always good to remind people like, guys, our food is unfortunately not what it used to be. And I grew up in farming, so I get it. And uh, I, that's why I'm such an advocate for pasture raised sources when I can. Well, and, I'm going to step in for one second. I want you to look into high bricks gardening, high bricks farming, B-R-I-X. Ooh, okay. So I, like the, a, I, like, I like a little weekend so, project. So, clinically, so the higher the bricks of the food, the higher the mineral content of the food, the more drought resistant the food, the higher the energy of the food, the more sweet the food is, and the longer that food's going to last in your refrigerator. So you buy an organic, you buy an organic zucchini that's rotting in 10 days in your refrigerator. I pick my organic, you know, my organic high brick zucchinis that I'm growing and I can leave them on my countertop all summer long oh. and then cut them up and they're still fresh as the day that I picked them. Thanks to the quarantine and I had a really long cinder block wall for this huge garage we have. I was like, it looks kind of boring. I'm bored. I need to, I need to get unplugged from the technology. So I built three eight foot long raised beds. Good so for you. Yeah. So you my wife now tested. has, she's got lettuce and everything. Oh, I've made sure I sourced organic soil and everything else. But like her lettuce is ripping roar right now. She had her first dinner last night with, with all the new lettuce. So yeah, she's I wish it. I could put my picture of my garden up right now. Well, you know what? Here's the funny thing. That's why I love connecting back to uh, where we were before. And like when I was a kid growing up on the farm, we didn't, we outsourced the, the fields to another local farmer and he just would just give us like a load of hay for our animals and stuff like that. I raised chickens. I would sell eggs on the side of the road at a 30 hen house, but my dad made me manage our garden. We had a quarter acre garden. I mean, my oh, wow. mom, my mom was, was canning vegetables, meaning these mason jars that people now use trendy for weddings. Well, yeah. we, would, we would store vegetables in that. Uh, but every, I mean, everywhere that went in the basement, the bottom of the farmhouse, we had all that stuff. And I'm not even that old. I'm only 42. But now but it's you funny had a foundation. You had a you had yeah. a, a food foundation for healthy genes. Yeah. You really did, if you think about it. Well, here's the best part, though. But now my own father, my own mother. I don't I don't hide anything. My, I love my family. They don't listen to me 100. percent But <laughs> my, my my family is is not of a healthy weight. Uh, almost everybody, my brother, my sister, my they're they're all overweight. And I'm not going to sit there and criticize them for it. That's their choices. That's their life. Uh, but people are like, oh man, you must have great genetics. And I was like. And I always remind my dad, I'm like, dad, I'm only doing what you did to me when I was a kid. So all you got to do is remind yourself of what you did for me as a kid and you'll be fine. Get back to health. Yeah. Yeah. Like he, he, he eats boxes of cereal once in a while. I'm like, what are you doing? You're 72 years old. Like, no, that's not, that's not the foundation of, 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 of oh, health. Good health. Right. So, Amen. I'm very passionate about this stuff. So that's yeah. why I love, that's why I love geeking out with influencers like you. I'm like, yeah. Oh my God. It's, if, if we get through, to just one person with a podcast like this, it makes it all worth it. That's why I tell people all the time, like my wife's always like, why do you monetize the show? You know, you've had it for over four years. I'm like, no, can't do it. I don't like it. I was like, you know what? If I meet somebody cool and they got a cool product out of mind, say, yeah, let's share that stuff. Like that. That's fine. Let it, let it happen naturally, right? Don't force it. I'm not going to have, you know, 20 minutes of ads cycled into a show. It just annoys me. I, I, I like podcasting because I want to hang out on a microphone and geek out with somebody like you and and learn something new so like i knew a little bit about this stuff but i, I learned a lot more today I, it's, it's super fun so and hopefully my audience did too <laughs> i hope so that's why i'm doing it too yeah i mean well I, i've been talking about telomeres and telometry for years only because i was already taking a product i told you before the show from another nutrition company that i i, I learned about it from from their doctors and i was like oh i never thought about that so it's cool because it's like now i want to play around with this. I'm like, okay. Cause I tell people all the time, like, I'm going to, I'm going to play around with it. I'm not going to knock it till I can, you know, till I can try it. Right. And, mm -hmm. and I'm already liking the ingredients and how you built up the profile and, and how you've stayed away from a lot of those bad fillers and everything else. So kudos again. Mm -hmm. I, I don't like to skip over that. That's after all the years in health and fitness that I've been in, 
you know, in and out of my business world, it scares me what we allow to pass onto oh a God, shelf yeah. in a store. Yeah. Oh, I mean, number one, you're, as soon as we have your address, you got a bottle coming your way. Thank you, Thank you for having me on, you know. Um, and I hope that that makes it. But, but two, yeah, what does pass? Quality. Quality is key. It yeah. really is. And so that time frame from 2014 to 2019 was me building all of the stuff that it turned into in behind the scenes. And where do I get the foundational investment on a naturopathic doctor with five kids I know, right? in order to make it happen? To me, it, you know, it really was a spiritual uh, quest on how it all came together. Now, were you running the Pittsburgh Alternative Health uh, practice I, the whole time there? Oh, oh yeah. So that and was your... I started a nonprofit. I started a nonprofit called the Bioelectric Quantum uh, Health Coalition. Well, that sounds like fun. Say yeah, that five go, times fast. Yeah, go to the if you go to that docmesac.com. Yeah, no, I'm on it right at, now. And you look at the top. It says coalition. On the coalition, it uh, talks about uh, you know forming a, a coalition, a, a private group, because the Ninth Amendment of the Constitution allows for freedom of education in private groups. Although we're supposed to have freedom of speech, we don't have freedom of education to teach because when you start teaching something that the establishment doesn't want taught, guess what? You oh. get shut down. No, no, believe so, me. We Ever since we released that movie, we've seen all kinds of interesting thing happening through social media and how, like, it was, it, it's a whole different podcast, but if you try and change the status quo, and there's a lot of money out there. Well, I'll just leave it at that. There's a lot of money being exchanged hands between sugar companies, grain companies, pharmaceutical companies. Oh my, yeah. And I'm not even one of those people who freaks out about stuff like that. I'm just being real. There's you know, money talks, BS walks like this is, it's a real problem. So yes, it, it's people like yeah. yourself need to put something like this together to help people give them a place to go get the real education. That's you know? what we're doing. This is going to have links to farmers and food and how to test yourself. And we're, I'm just trying to connect food to people to understand how you can test yourself. And, and so the goal is to build retreat centers where we're teaching people and people can come and eat the way they're supposed to reset their chemistry, walk away in a pattern of restoration and take that with them is what like my it. goal is. And so it has nothing to do with vitalometry. Vitalometry is just creating the finances long term to where we can build those goals. You know, you and I have something else in common. I just launched my nonprofit last year called Fuel Foundation. So it's still in the in the, you know, like you it's, it's grassroots. Tough. Still it's yeah. but it's like, you know what, you eventually reach a point where and actually this is a great way to bring the show to a close for you because I'll need you to help me close it out because I ask my guest co hosts nowadays, and you know, four years ago I was always saying, Hey man, what are some final words you want to leave behind? You know, something inspirational or something, you know, in case they forget everything else in the show. But in this case, nowadays, as we fast forward and mindset has become so important beyond the health business and lifestyle mindset we talk about all the time, I realize and through nonprofits too, it's like, you know what? What is the legacy we're leaving behind? Right? Like there's more oh, to life true. than just the money, which you were very clear on. So it's like, what is that legacy message? What's what's something that I want to leave behind to the world? And that's how I'm actually going to ask you to help close the show out. It's like, what would you like to leave behind for the audience as the guest co-host today? To leave behind, I just, I think, aware, if you take it back to that awareness aspect, I think if you know who you are and you know what you believe, then, and you have a tool that shows you how you can love yourself, because if you don't like yourself, <laughs> you're dealing with yourself for the rest of your life, you know? then you've got an issue. Know yourself, find yourself, and then let that belief and guide, it's going to lead you to, to that aspect of truth that says, okay, if I really believe that, then what am I doing to make that difference in leaving that legacy? I love that. Hey, you know what? This is coming up more and more. Last night's podcast I recorded, we would close out the same message. Like, how are you supposed to help and love others if you don't love yourself? and let that exactly. energy bring forth. I, I love the message. Uh, listen, Doc, hang tight. I want to get the proper guy up the air. Again, ladies and gentlemen, that was a definitely a heavily focused on healthy lifestyle, but I think you could see it affecting a lot of other areas in your life. So remember, uh, check out his site, docmesac.com. We're going to have everything linked on the videos and the show notes that we always do. Uh, obviously, at the end here, we talked a lot about the bioelectriccoalition.org. He's got that listed on that site. And then obviously, check out the uh, vitalometry.com as well. So again, ladies and gentlemen, we're here to fuel your health, your business, your lifestyle. 
uh, Dr. Misak definitely helped us do that today. I hope you learned a few things because I know I did. So remember, you too can live the fuel, and we'll talk to you guys again soon.